and love bag babes it's your girl nashe what's up what's good i hope you're doing well today we are gonna go ahead and dive right into my magical tote rocking this statement bag definitely has earned me a few glances and some stares i love this i love tapping into my personal magic i think we all have personal magic and so i did not mind walking around with this tote now i did not wear it on the first day of school i just that wasn't appropriate we're not teaching the children how to spell f words so i didn't do that and a couple doctor appointments i didn't wear it too i just didn't feel as if it was appropriate now the message itself i stand firmly on but there's a time and a place for everything right so let's go ahead and dive right into this purse and I'll show you some of the magical tools that I use to get me through my days. Let's go. So I did show the unboxing of this tote bag. If you remember back when I was doing my Monday unboxings, this was one of the handbags. I did go out with this bag yesterday to do some writing and some planning and that sort of thing. So it is full with different types of books and journals and that sort of thing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into journals that I have. So currently I am back in this right here. I happened to get some candle wax on it yesterday and I'll show you why, but I did get some candle wax on my notebook and I got this notebook a couple years ago because my intention was to write down all the writing ideas that I had gotten and novel ideas and that sort of thing and then I put it away and stopped thinking about it but this weekend I took a trip to the library the library was the very first sacred space when I was a younger girl you would always find me in the library and being around those books and loving to write helped to create this belief in myself that one day I'd be a published writer and so I went to the library this weekend and guys, all those feelings came back, rushed in, along with a couple story ideas. So here is the journal that has captured those story ideas and the plan is to work on those and kind of mold and create those ideas into actual stories. So this is my writing journal. Do not laugh, do not laugh. I'm still reading this book. My goal is to be done with this book. I'm a slow reader, you guys, because I'm busy. But um, school has started, so my son will be back to his evening reading. And I'm going to challenge myself that when he's reading for his little 20 minutes a night, I will be reading for my 20 minutes a night. The next book I have here is this notebook here. I picked this up from five and below and I use it. I just put notes in here, honestly like magical notes. Notes that when those coincidences, those signs from the universe, those messages from God, they just come various ways. If I'm watching a YouTube channel or I'm taking some kind of online class and there is some kind of magical message for me, they typically end up in this notebook right here. Next book I have is this notebook here. Um, you are no stranger to this notebook. You have seen this in my videos a couple times. This is where I put down my YouTube ideas and just take notes on future videos. You've also seen this journal before. Um, this one is just my daily dump. It's like when I just throw up on paper, this is typically where I do the throwing up and things come out messy and raw and I just get it all out, usually in a composition book. This journal right here I picked up, you know, it's back to school time. So, you know, us people who like papers and pens, this is like a heavenly moment for us. So we are picking up things and stashing things. And I'm definitely in that group of people. I love a good notebook. So I saw this hot pink composition book and I grabbed it. And what I'm looking at in this one, what I'm using this one for is really 
diving deep into my relationships to help me figure some stuff out. These type of things I don't want to necessarily put into my dump, my um, daily dump book. So I put it in here because these are more so matters of the heart. And the final book I have is this one right here. This is a new journal that I picked up from the Family Dollar. And what I plan on doing with this one is tackling negative thoughts, right? So I'm going to be not only using this journal for scripting, but I'll also be using this journal to tackle thoughts that aren't the most productive. So, you know, all through the day we have thoughts that creep up on us and, you know, our mind is playing tricks on us and telling us things. And so I'm going to be challenging those thoughts using this notebook. So for instance, if I have a thought that says, you're a horrible YouTuber, I'm instantly going to pull the book out and I'm going to write down the complete opposite of that. And I'll challenge all the negative thoughts as much as I can throughout the course of the day with this. I will just write down something that is in complete opposite of the negative thought that I am having and that's causing me to feel some kind of way. So that's what this one's for. Now, it's summertime, I'm outside, I'm wearing shorts, short sleeves, you know, feet are out, that sort of thing. So I have definitely, I definitely have to carry some kind of body cream or some lotion, something. So this one is Champagne Apple and Honey by Bath and Body Works. This has been in my stash for quite some time. I have a few, just a couple more that I'm going through. I plan, I don't plan on buying a bunch more Bath and Body Works products. So I'm gonna get through these sweet smelling lotions and keep it moving. I am finally using my Kurt Geiger wallet. This is a really cute wallet. I'm tempted to give it to my daughter though. Um, I mean, it's cool. It doesn't suit all my needs. I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one. And I also got some candle wax on this as well. So I'll have to clean that up. Thank goodness it's patent leather, but it's really cute. You know, I love the colors and it has glitter. I'm a glitter girl. Of course, the eagle head is there. Super cute. And then the double zippers at the top and then traditional setup inside. So it's a nice wallet, but I just, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it right now. Let me show you why I have so much melted candle wax everywhere. So I was using this tin in this magical bag to carry a small tea light candle as well as a lighter. And I had the tea light candle in here. I was using it yesterday outside while I was doing some writing and it started to rain. It started to drizzle and in my haste, I put the tea candle in here, the tea light candle in here, and started throwing things back in my purse and completely forgot that I had a candle with me. So here we have the mess once it all dried up. So I'll have to clean that up. But this is super cool to bring a little candle with you, a lighter, and to create a sacred space wherever you go. So I'm not mad about it. I'll just have to clean up my melted wax, of course, but... I think this came in super handy. Yeah, it's very messy. Um, we have the glasses case here. Here are my pink shades. Got them from the Dollar Tree um, last summer, I believe, and absolutely love them. I think they're cute. Moving right along. I have some deodorant. I don't normally have deodorant in my purse. Yeah, I had one of those mornings where it's like I had to hurry on up. So grab this for safety reasons, okay? Okay. I have a random sheet of paper in my purse, not surprising. I have a receipt from the gas station. I have a loose pen, not surprising. And I have this lovely, lovely organic 
incense now i'm not bougie when it comes to my incense choices however i do know all incense aren't created the same this is different quality of incense and i just happened to pick this organic one up because the price was really good it was like a dollar and change and i figured i'd try it out i was interested in the dragon's blood scent and yeah i really enjoy it it has the house smelling like a some sort of temple okay and my handbag smells really good too and that's what's so magical and so wonderful about incense is that not only does it add fragrance and a beautiful aroma to your place it changes the vibe you know it's magical to me because it can be used in prayer it can be used as offerings it can just be used to elevate your mood so that is the incense we are down to the final items in this purse and we'll go ahead and start with the back pocket here i just have some basics which is a a first aid kit just in case there's some boo-boos on the road it always comes in handy especially when you're traveling with small people so i do have this for those just in case moments i have a nyx fat oil lip gloss and i do have my hand sanitizer And I have, these should be in the back pocket, but I do have my Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips Lip Balm. That's a whole lot of words to say chapstick, but that's what I have here. And I have some Florida water. These are the, the last two items on here are my last two magical tools and this is the florida water i like to use this brand murray and landman florida water started out as literally a cologne water it showed up right around i want to say the early 1800s and people were using it as perfume however in the magical world this is used to not only cleanse energy, change your vibes, make you feel a little lighter. You literally just splash it on your hands. You could tap it on your, on your face, on your neck, and just cool yourself down. I love it for that. I also love to splash a little bit of this inside my laundry. Florida water is essentially a alcohol-based cologne water. Has essential oils inside of it. Used as a wash a rinse or a spritz to clean and clear negative energy and also to raise your personal vibration. This is great for if you have an argument or you need to cleanse your space, you need to clean your crystals, that sort of thing. Florida water comes in handy. It can also help with joint and muscle pain. Great for bug bites, cooling yourself down on hot summer days. And you can also rub this on your temples when you have a headache. Also good to soften the skin after shaving. So I love a good Florida water and oftentimes I'll have it in the spray bottle and I'll just spritz, spritz, spritz away. But I did want to have it in its large size bottle in my magical tote for magical purposes. So that is my Florida water. And I always have a bottle or two in my home. And the last item that I have in this purse is another cologne water. This is a rose cologne. It also has melted wax all over it, but I like this rose cologne because I literally use it as a perfume. It smells like rose. It's very lightweight and very refreshing. And it's just almost like a after wash splash or <laughs> after shave splash, whatever you want to call it. So sometimes I'll put this in a spritz bottle and I'll just spritz it over myself and it's just very cooling and very, and smells very good. So this is my rose cologne. At some point I did have my earbuds in there and I did have my 
pencil case. I'm not sure where either one of those items are right now, but they were in here at one point. I just ran into my office area and I grabbed my pencil case here. I'm still utilizing this eyeglass case as my pencil case because it works really well. And while I do have just your regular degular pencils and pens in here and my whiteout, I do have a magical item in here that I wanted to show you. And this, my dear, is a wand, a magical wand. So let's go ahead and test my memory here and see if I can remember what the stones are, right? So right on the top, that's amethyst. I believe this blue stone right here is sodalite. I believe this green stone right here is either malachite or jade not sure this yellow stone is citrine this red stone is carnelian and this deep red stone on the bottom is garnet and again this is a clear quartz and this is a clear quartz so this is my beautiful little <laughs> magical wand filled with gemstones and I absolutely love it. So if I'm out on the street and my children aren't behaving, I boop, do a little boop, do a little bam, bam, boop, and they're quiet and well behaved yet again. <laughs> I wish, I wish that was the case. This just feels really good. It just feels really good to have um, gemstones around me and I absolutely fell in love with this when I found this years and years ago. So. Yep, that is another magical tool of mine. So the bag is empty and finally we have my beautiful strawberry pouch. This was my purse charm and I have this little purse. It was called a book bag charm in Target. I know I can make this, but I still loved it. It still made me super happy and it was $2. So I picked her up in this little book bag here with these cute little strawberries of course of course i have strawberry candies i also have some double mint gum and i have a lighter so that is what's going on in here and this you all completes my what's in my bag thank you for stopping by and checking out this video i have some cleanup to do obviously but i have to say wearing this bag was fun i did get a few weird stares i did get a few glances and yesterday this lady looked me up and down very nasty look on her face and then her eyes just like locked in on my tote bag and i was just like hi <laughs> and then she smiled you know so I enjoyed carrying this bag. I'm going to clean her up and put her away and jump into my next carry. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Peace and love.